Hello, folks, and welcome back to another episode of, well, Dark Souls 3. Particularly 3. In the last episode, we had just defeated the Abyss Watchers, one of the uh, four main bosses of the game. And in this episode, we are going to uh, travel on down here into the uh, the tombs here, the catacombs of Carthus. And uh, while we're down here, we're going to be on the lookout for a few characters. And uh, most of the enemies down here are just, you know, a bunch of boners. It's all good. Uh, did you not? Okay, well, he fucked off. So down this way, we have more enemies. A bunch of more boners. Oh, could you fucking... Okay. Good. Um... Spooky, scary skeletons, sir. I don't care for your kind all too much. Um, in the last episode, I kind of made it a little too long, I feel. So perhaps, uh... I don't know why I'm collecting shit still. Uh, perhaps I will try to keep it down to half an hour videos at most, maybe. I'm going to do it in segments of, like, area that we need to go through. That's a secret there. It's a secret. Um, <clears throat> area to area that we need to go through. And so we'll go through this area and we'll beat its boss and that'll be like a whole episode there. Um... But yeah, in this area, uh, if we continue progressing through this way, we should eventually meet up with a character whom of which we met a few episodes ago. That would be Henri. We're gonna need to speak to her a couple of times down here. Could you fuck? Okay. Okay. I guess... Alright. <laughs> Okay. This is just awkward. Could you- okay. You need to not do that. Wow. Can- can I- can I hit you? You're not a fucking boss. Go home. Go home. Uh, I figured I'd also do a quick switch around with my, uh, equipment. Not for any particular reason, just because, you know, it looks neat. I like it. There's a fucking throwing knife sticking out of my head. That's great. You know, a little bit of brain damage, but, you know, whatever. Doesn't really matter. We're already rotting on the inside anyway. I believe this is the right way. I don't fucking remember. It's Dark Souls. Take the bow here. Cheap shot. And... Boink. Oh man, I love this weapon. This is one of the weapons from the last DLC. It's very good there. And I don't entirely remember where this character has been sitting at. Ambush ahead. Good. <clears throat> Alrighty. Well, we took care of that. Um, it's a very nonchalant commentary. So here's Henri here. And she lo she's looking a little like she's got a migraine. Oh, hello. How very fortunate. Have you seen my companion, Horace? To my shame, I was snared by a trap and we've become separated. I've not been able to find him since. Nope. Yes, I see you. Horace is a valiant knight. He can look after himself, no question. He's probably searching for me right now with twice the resolve. If you happen upon him, please tell him that I remain in the catacombs and will lay prison stones 
Lord to guide him, as always. Please send him my word, Rebecca dear. May the flames guide your way. Sure. Alright, yeah, so basically she lost her companion. Yeah, as she said. Well, I guess we could have jumped down to this one. Well, fuck. Oh, there's assholes over there. Tight night. Shit. Good. Okay. And boink. Nope. Oop. Come on. Nope. Oh, good. The problem with having a rather large bow like this, it draws back very slowly. The damage is pretty nice. And this one has a uh, p particularly special ability here, where I can... Oh my god, fucking skeletons, I swear to god. You, sir. I'm... I don't even want to. I don't even want to deal with skeletons right now. Look at this fucking shit. I'm a pincushion. There's one in my my hand. What the fuck is this? <sighs> what a bunch of assholes. All right. There's an item over here. Ah, oh, 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 my fuck. You know, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I can just go back to the last bonfire, and from up there I can just climb down. I'm dumb. Oh well. I'm just wasting your time, and my time. And adding on to the time on the YouTube thing. The thing of the internet. The interwebs there? <clears throat> yeah, so now we, we're gonna take a right here, and... As you can see... Hop on down here and show these skeletons what for. Fucking asshole. Oh, and he come back. Good. Oh, fuck you. Alright. I'll show you a spooky scary time. So that's dangerous. And there's a bonfire over there. Oh, I want to get it. Well, as it turns out, it's much further away than you think. So we got to run through all this shit here. All of these skeletons. These fucking loner boners over here. Oh, I hit the trap button over there and I knew it was there. Now we'll actually fight one of these guys. They're kind of annoying like everything else. Oh my god. These guys are assholes because they shoot they shoot the pots that bring out the souls of the damned and, and, and then they hurt me. They're attracted to my humanitor. Oh. Could you... These guys love to fucking just stun lock you infinitely. So... What the fuck? Oh. Oh, okay. He came back. Oh. Oh my god. Please. This is just not going okay. <laughs> not at all. Alright, chug, 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 you bitch. So here's the fun part. More ball of skeletons. That's not a boulder, it's just skeletons. Oh, bonfire! Now, we can die in peace. There's a player right there. Oh, don't touch me! Oh god. You fucking... Oh my god. It's too spooky for me, man. Too spooky for me. Oh my god. 
The, sir, please, ma'am, ma'am, I'm going to have to ask you to calm your tits. Oh, okay. So skeletons suck. <laughs> this place is awful. But, short, nonetheless. I'm just gonna get my ass kicked in every five minutes or so. Probably. Oh well, we have plenty of embers. New game plus six really hurts. Whatever. Now we can just run past those skeletons, and we're actually gonna want to follow 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 this uh, boulder of skeletons here. Oh, and get ran over by it. Just flattened all these rats too. Um, there's an asshole over here. We're gonna kill him. Because everybody wants you dead anyway, right? No point in assuming that uh, they're gonna be friendly. Beat the living shit out of them. Got a bunch of shit from them. Doesn't even matter. <clears throat> I'm gonna use Soul Stream on this next guy coming up here. Because it's fun to be an asshole to assholes, right? Something like that. Be gone, foul thing! Off the fucking cliff with you, sir. And I accidentally broke the bridge in the process. Which is fine. Because we're not going to go up that bridge. <clears throat> now here we have a bunch of bones. And as it's been implied before, perhaps, uh... Perhaps this, uh... Is an unsettling... Rather dangerous situation to be in. Hmm. So yeah, all of these skeletons are just gonna start coming up. Normally what you would do is uh, run across the bridge and then cut the rope and they'd all fall off. Which is kind of fun. There we got our ember back. Um, but we actually need to go up this cliff face here. So also, I just got invaded by an asshole. Awesome. But yeah, so up this way here is Henri. Still has the most intense migraines. Oh, hello. Have you seen Horace anywhere? Nope. Oh, yeah. Nope. Now, actually, Horus is all the way the fuck down there, in that pit. And here comes the invader, acting all cool. We're gonna we're gonna show him what for here. Or not? Yeah, that works. <clears throat> I don't even know if it's worth fighting him. I don't think so. Or is he gonna just be an idiot? Well, that that successful successful uh, defense on the hosts and here. Yep. Good fucking quality combat. So here we are. All prepared to uh, confront the boss now. Not a whole lot going on in this room here. Just a bunch of jars filled with bones. And a door we can't open yet. However, center of this room here, we've got this uh, goblet.
And so we've been taken into the darkness of the Abyss, which is what the Abyss Watchers have been fighting this whole time. Spooky skeletons, bro. So, yeah. Volnir well, here is, uh, kind of awkward to fight, I guess. It's rather large. His movement's awkward, but basically we have to hit these bracelets here. It's the only, only bit of real light in this area. And after a while, if I can continually hit them, not get fucking bitch slapped by skeletons. Skella McBro here! They'll break and do a large ass chunk of damage to his health and knock him backwards. Um, any other forms of attacks aren't really worthwhile, you just want to go for his bracelets. It's just easier that way. And... Oh. Fucking let them smash. Could you not Just get this other bracelet? Come on, come on. Wham! Yeah. Sorry, folks. I got interrupted there, but uh, as you can see here, uh, right where the uh, the ball of skeletons is rolling down on this end. Before we took a left here. But if we go on down this way, this is actually the uh, gate that we had opened up before, just before the ambush skeletons were. So we're going to just run through here, uh, like the normal area, right over where Horus, right above where Horus is, rather. Um, and as you can see, lots of boners coming our way. We want none of that. at all skeletons. Anyway, back on to the boss fight now. Alright. Round two should be better, hopefully. Got interrupted, so had to stop. Just for a minute. Oh, am I stuck in his hand? I'm stuck in his hand. Come on, you cock. I'm pretty sure it's not even based on how much damage you do. It's based on how much, uh, how, how many hits you take instead. Or you, how many hits you do to me. So it might be worth doing. Like a, a weapon that doesn't take that much stamina to swing. Oh, I think he's gonna charge. So yeah, you don't wanna, you don't wanna get behind his, uh, his fog thing. You don't want to get behind this boss because it will kill you really fast. Similar to uh, his fog breath stuff, it'll do pretty much exactly the same. Um, and he's going to summon his sword, which is something he usually only does in like phase two. Ah. So he summons Selig Skeely Bros there. Doesn't matter one fucking bit, because he'll just kill him anyway. He's gonna swing down his sword and murder my ass. Alright, now these guys are annoying. So, usually, he'll finish this off with a Wog, or Wrath of the Gods, which is this massive AoE attack which is something that my arrows do, and a spell that we can learn. And it's, well, really dangerous. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Come on, smack a bitch, smack a bitch. Come on, no, he's gonna do breath, and then I have to run back. So yeah, you have to like run up the hill here. And he will push you all the way back up to the wall, if you let him. Oh god. So awkward and clunky. Okay, this is just bullshit. Did you fucking not? Thank you. Oh! It's the 
No, I think he's, he's going to charge. This one's... Yeah, he's going to charge. This is the more dangerous bracelet because it's right next to the fog there. And he can, like, pull you right into it. Or he can just, like, charge. Which will also just set you right into it. And he also puts it in the fucking fog. It's just like, well, geez, thanks, bro. Nice. Come on. Oh god, he's gonna... Fog attack's dangerous close by him as well. Oh god, no, fuck me! So howdy folks, uh, this is post-commentary here because, uh, my audio actually got really fucky. And, um, yeah, it, it was like a very high pitch buzzing, and it was really fucking annoying. And I didn't realize it until, um, after I recorded. But as you can see here, uh, this is actually, um, my successful, uh, battle with, uh, Walnir here. <laughs> it's a very good fight. <laughs> now, usually I don't have that many problems with this boss, but, uh, this time I could not, for the life of me, fucking beat him. So, as you can see here, I decided to go for his right bracelet first, because it's the most dangerous to get, and usually gets a little more aggressive when, uh, it comes to dealing with him, uh, at a lower health. Ugh. So he summoned, uh, some skeletons here. It's pretty good. And then he goes and fucks it up completely by killing them all with his breath attack. <laughs> I was so amused by this. This is just like, you really don't give a single shit. This guy's an asshole. Anyway. With the right bracelet down, we don't have to worry about stepping into the fog. At least not too far. <clears throat> it's just his, uh... Melee attacks that we really have to worry about now. And the occasional, you know, fog breath. But, um... Yeah, overall, uh... This battle is fairly, fairly easy. Um, I believe, actually, now... In the future, I believe it is uh, a lot more possible to uh, beat him with like strength weapons if you have something that can deal a hefty amount of damage to those bracelets. That's really going to give you the edge. I wasn't using strong attacks or anything like that. I was using this <laughs> dinky blade instead of like a hammer or an axe, which would have completely destroyed them. And I would have ended this episode really early. <laughs> yeah, you know, that and interruptions aside... He's an asshole. He's, you know, summoning his fucking boners. He's playing with all of his boners. It's all real good. Uh, he's going in for his wog. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, wog. Oh, uh, Metal Gear. Uh. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, you can see here I'm uh, about to kick his shit in. Even though he's a skelly bro who does not have an asshole. And wham. So that's one successful boss fight for us. And, uh, yeah, yippee. So, uh, here I am, uh, celebrating with some sword spams. I really love that weapon. Oh my god. And we can see that the, uh, darkness that we were fighting and that the Abyss Watchers were fighting is receding now back into the gauntlet. Goblet. Gauntlet? Doomfist. Doomfist confirmed. Um, fucking... Back into the goblet, goblet here. Holy shit! Can't speak. Too many fucking boners around. Um, we beat the boss. The door opens, and everybody wins except for the boss. So there's that. Yay! Yay! All right. And uh, yeah. So. Now, at this point, would be where I'd do my outro, I guess. So, in the next episode of Dark Souls 3, we're going to uh, go ahead and um, do some backtracking into a previous area, just before this boss, actually. And um, I'll be showing off a lesser-known area, I guess. Anyway, uh, that's all for this episode. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!